global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome to Global Happenings today. We have a trending news here for you. And the headline of the news reads, UK government sends strong message to Buhari says Abacha recovered loot are meant for the people. All right, but before we continue with details of the news and further analysis, we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish videos on YouTube. All right, let's look at the news in detail. The United Kingdom government has warned against President Buhari's government plan to give more than $100 million to KB government Atiku Bagudu. The money in part of funds is part of funds stolen by the late head of state, Sani Abacha. The U.S. and Nigeria in early February agreed on the repatriation of over $308 million to Africa's most populous nation. A few days later, the war power accused the Nigerian government of a secret plot to give Atiku Bagudu a percentage of the money. On Monday, Bloomberg reported that the UK National Crime Agency has insisted that the Bacha loot belongs to the people and is opposing the Federal Republic of Nigeria's application. The motion was filed by Atiku Bagudu's brother Ibrahim to the district court for the District of Columbia in the U.S. capital on March 30. The U.S. had in a statement on February 3rd said the KB governor was part of a butcher's network that embezzled, misappropriated, and extorted billions from the government of Nigeria. The Department of Justice DOJ further said the Buhari administration is preventing ongoing for future effort against Atiku Bagudu. The 2003 settlement approved by the UK court allowed the government, the governor, to return $163 million to Nigeria without admitting to wrongdoing, according to US court filing. In return, the federal government dropped all outstanding civil and criminal claims against him, District Judge John D. Bartz noted in a December 23, 2019 memorandum opinion. This case illustrated how complex and contentious repatriating stolen asset to Nigeria can be. Matthew Page, an associate fellow at Clamton House, said, Nigerians' lawyers appear to be supporting the interests of one of the country's most powerful families, the intelligence expert added. Successive governments have so far repatriated more than $2 billion stashed abroad by Abacha. Transparency International estimated that the late detector stole about $5 billion during his five years' rule. All right, that's the news. And um, this is uh, a good one for Nigeria. This case had already come up uh, in the month of, uh, I think, January or February. This case came up when Nigeria had already concluded signing for the repatriation of over 300 and. $308 million of Abacha's recovered loot. And uh, when it was already signed between Nigeria and United, United States of America, agreement was that uh, the money will be, you know, sent back to Nigeria. But just some few days after the signing uh, of the agreement, uh, UK's, uh, US, yeah, they brought up a case and that uh, Atiku Magudu, who is the who is a governor in one of the northern states, was going to be given all the amount of monies that were st uh, stolen or that were repatriated back to Nigeria. And they frowned at it seriously and said, if that should happen, it therefore means all the other monies that are in their coffers, they would not allow it to get into the hands of um, the country. And um, according to the information provided by Atiku Bagudu, he said that there had been an agreement between him and the government of Nigeria that when, they, when he helps the government to you know, investigate and bring out the looted fund, that automatically a percentage of that money will be given to him. And by calculation, it should amount to, I think it was just I think 10% or so, should be given to him. And it was already signed into agreement between Nigeria 
and Atiku Bagudu. But then uh, the government of the uh, United States of America were not happy about it. They said that even if they must give him any amount of money, should not exceed a hundred million dollars. While they are now agitating for more based on the provision of the agreement. All right, that's just it. And we just want to look at this seriously because issues of this sort should be handled with all amount of professionalism and also consideration. Uh, first of all, Atiku Bagudu, according to information, he was in the um, in the uh, Bacha's regime as a, then as a young person. And uh, according to what U.S. government said, that he was part of the misappropriation, the looting and everything. But then, after the looting, nobody actually know where the money is where. Nobody actually know where the accounts were. So when he volunteered to, uh, you know, give Nigeria all the required information, then, you know, because he was in government, as at then, it was now agreed, the percentage was agreed between him and the government that when it is being recouped you know, or when the money is being repatriated back to Nigeria, they will give him a particular amount of money. But, you know, one of the things that bothers the mind at, at this time is the fact that the present day government is not transparent enough. Accountability is at a zero level right now. And that is why you are seeing um, even the international communities who have an idea of what is going on in this country, they are reacting the way they are currently reacting. Imagine someone like, for example, looking at what we have heard internationally about somebody like Imam of peace who came up and said some very strong things about the present day government one of it that he talked about and was so emphatic about was the fact that when he started fighting terrorism in nigeria he noticed that he was being you know fought again by the government of the day and he was like i'm trying to help you guys out here i'm trying to make sure that i bring global light to what is currently happening in the country in respect to terrorism and you guys are now fighting me so what 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 are you guys really up to he said a lot of things in his tweet you know against the president and also against this administration and it to get it to crown it all was when yesterday the uh, president of Chad accompanied his boys and they went in and they, everybody have heard the victory that they got over you know Boko Haram they were able to conquer Boko Haram in their own territory got as much uh, got to even their weapon base you know where their storehouse for weapons are they were able to conquer it kill more than a hundred of them and also were able to set free Nigerians and uh, Nigerian soldiers who were under their captivity and you know this was like a blow on our face look at the population of chad look at the population of nigeria we are bigger than them in all respect in terms of human resources we are bigger than them in terms of technology we are bigger than them but the challenge that we have is there is no um accountability there is no transparency there are a lot of uh, mysteries that are yet to be unveiled when it comes to this present day government and that is why you see uk government you know instead of them to just give a straight jacket uh, judgment in respect to this they are saying that they hire that the loot of that amount the loot of Abacha, late uh, Abacha, General Abacha, actually belongs to the people. It shouldn't be given to anyone. And they had to put, you know, a line saying, even if they must, um, whether there was an agreement or not, they must give it to him. It must only be a hundred million. And, you know, the surprising aspect of it is that why should a government be entering into an agreement with another person for you to provide information that will lead to the discovery of a particular amount stolen by a particular person when you were in that government it, it wouldn't have been a case of trying to draw him into it or enter into any form of agreement with him at, as at this point it's a case of Oga, you were in this government and we know you were the right hand man of this man and being the right hand of this man you are privileged to some secret information that will help us recoup some of the monies that he has stolen for that reason they bring you into judgment immediately bring uh, uh, efcc and every other person dss to come and interrogate you and by all means that information will be retrieved because they were already proved on ground to show that he was part of the government and it was not just part of the government he was very instrumental during the period of the reign of late abacha it is not an issue of trying to engage into agreement with him as if 
he was a stranger who by Abragadabra was able to know where the monies were. He was in the system. He knew there were some files. I believe there were some files and privileged information that he had, which no other person had. So if it was like that, and it has to do with the loot of Nigerian money, it's not the personal money of Abacha. If it was the personal money of Abacha and the family is trying to engage into, you know, trying to see where those monies were and they now enter into, you know, um, a kind of agreement with him that would be very normal but a situation like this where he is the money is not even his personal money it's not a legitimate money he earned it was a loot and you know about where those looted from is there was no need to engage in any form of agreement if you were in that government and you were there to helping the government you know in embezzling money misappropriating nigerian money oh god show us where the money is and i can assure you that at the end of the day he would have still shown the Nigerian government where the money is. I mean, this situation is really disheartening, seeing that such a huge amount of money has been recovered, and instead of applying it back into the economy and seeing how things can be improved, there is a particular person that the whole nation entered into agreement with him to refund, to give him some amount of money as a form of settlement for helping out with information relating to, you know, the whereabout of the money, when he was also involved in the misappropriation processes. Yes, he was involved in it. For him to have adequate information like that, it therefore means he was also involved. I think that's the way the U United uh, Kingdom, uh, this thing, uh, government or court are saying, even if you have to give him money, the max that should be given to him is just a hundred million dollar, not more than that, because the truth of the matter is the looted fund is actually the belonging of Nigeria. Look at the situation that we have found ourselves right now. A situation whereby we do not even know, you know, what will be the case like in terms of economic development in the country. Why? Because some certain person believe that they are only the privileged few that should enjoy, you know, the treasury of this nation. It breaks the heart, you know, and seeing government dilly-dallying over issues like this make a lot of people feel very terrible. All right, but, but that's where we are going to leave it. It's a huge mistake on the part of the government to enter into a contract with someone or enter into an agreement with someone who was in that administration, you know. If, for example, a uh, person like uh, Buhari leaves the, the throne and then uh, someone like Femi Adeshina who was involved in the management or, or in the running of the country or maybe Abakari decides that uh, we do not know where the money is but I, actually I can show you where the money is but then we need to agree on something. Bullshit. If you were there, you were involved in all the processes involved. Uh, processes of looting the, the country's money. So if we have to, if you don't vomit it or if you don't want to give it the, the, the right intel that will lead us to where you know, the money is then you're going to be doing it forcefully, you know, and that's just how it would have been.